And welcome back to Let's Play Doom 3. We're picking up the BFG edition and we're going into... We're going to start a new game. We're going into the Lost Campaign. Sorry, Lost Mission. Uh, I'm just pretending that this uh, thing doesn't exist. We're completely ignoring um, Resurrection of Evil. And we're straight into a cutscene. and a loading screen. So be it. Bravo team, entry secure. Moving to take positions. Quiet, did you hear that? This is late, give me status. Always clear. There's nothing here, Sam. What the hell? So straight into it. Wow, very much straight into it. So yeah, I'm playing this as a bit of a break from the custom mod showcase. I'm not abandoning the showcase for any stretch, I just felt like a break from the, the randomness. I figured let's go for something that we just know is going to be terrible from the get-go. I am, however, just going to um, go into my settings. Just turn. Nope. Uh, where would we be? System. And volume. Just turn the volume down a little bit. That's better, because that was quite painful at my end. That said, if it turns out awful when I go to test it, or when I go to edit, I'll fix it up in, in the future. But for now, you're stuck with it. So yes, I figure that I'll do this, and then I'll do maybe, hello, maybe 10 showcase levels, and then we'll decide whether there's enough alcohol available to keep me sufficiently drunk through Resurrection of Evil to justify playing Resurrection of Evil. Um, or some armor, which basically is just extra health. I may be confusing that with Doom 4, but I don't think armor serves any other purpose. Hello, imp. Okay, so we've had, I think those first ones were parasites, and now we've got imps. I'm going to quick save. Got a med kit. We've already picked up a uh, machine gun, which is a, a nice change. Um, nothing else there. I am just keeping an eye out for secrets, actually. Can we get down there? No. No, black is bad. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that. I mean, yeah, always double tap, but that wasn't the intention. Oh, now we have a shotgun, too. Uh, I thought I had a zoom. Evidently, I do not have a zoom. It's through elimination, I was going to assume it was going to teleport in there. Apparently not. Just to keep us guessing. I hate these things so much. I can one-shot them now, though. Okay, well I can almost live with them if they're a one-shotable proposition. We'll leave the two hit points there. And we'll quick save. We're going to do this one episode, well one level per episode, as opposed to timing it. If we've got to render it at 7.20, oh no. This doesn't look too bad at 7.20, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. And... 
Let me guess. Oh dear, we need to go and find someone's PDA. Who'd have thunk it? Okay. That's it. I can hear something else. I'm not going to grab that armor because it's going to result in me picking up. Whoa! Ha! A lot more health than I actually intend on picking up right away. Yeah, yeah. Where is he? No? I was expecting another one of those friggin' asshole Japanese tentacle porn inspired ones to come running up behind me. Okay, well that was uh, probably, probably a waste of a barrel there. God damn it, stuck in the wall. Oh well. Our cursor's not turning into anything. So that we can't interact with that terminal. Another locked door. Another quick save. We'll secure this... Yeah, okay, area secure. And so we'll secure that area before we open another door. Always double tap. Now, ooh, health, please. Quick save, because I just turned a door open. Somehow not full on bullets yet. Well, I don't want to pick that one up yet. Quick saving an awful lot. Okay, there was nothing else there. That was literally just a monster closet. Do I have a flashlight option? Settings, controls, key bindings. Where's my torch? Uh, um, end. Okay. Why just not picked it up yet? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, we're going to turn it off because we really don't need it. Oh, whatever. Gotta say, I'm actually a fan of the balance in this a lot more than I was in... in Doom 3 and the one time I did play the other one. Which I have almost finished. Fuck you. I have almost finished Resurrection of Evil. I have gotten up to the, the, the end boss fight of that game and that was just a whole heap of butthurt and suffering. And I haven't finished that. Hello? We'll just go down here. Quick save. This is such a trap. Like, id software is why I have trust issues. We pulled that off pretty well. We actually have objectives in this. Well, that's a thing. Okay, so we have to reset the lift switch. Mm. 
just gonna quick save again. Um, okay. Before we get too attached. Nope, nope, nope. And come on, let me down. Thank you. I know it's a waste of shotgun shells, but they're giving us plenty of ammo. More armor. Oh, I see, the flashlight has a... Okay, that's a, an interesting compromise. We no longer have an endless supply of light, but we don't have to swap between weapon versus you know, being able to see our hand in front of our face. Okay, he actually startled me. I'm not wasting anything here. Actually, I'm probably wasting an awful lot, but I'm not taking any chances. What have we got? Is that another clip for our P90? We have restored power. And quick saving because we've moved to another room. Ow. That was just cheap. I wasn't sure if that was an Emperor Parasite then. Kinda had his crawling thing going. 74 health, I almost want to pick that up, but I'd rather go back a bit and collect that other one that we left early on. Where did it go? Where the hell did it go? Uh, no, not through there, genius. Up through. We have covered a fair bit of space. Uh, grab that one. It was another one much closer to basically where we'll finish up at the end of the level. It was next to that locked door. Oh, we run out of stamina. That's something I don't like about the, the Doom 3 games is the stamina feature. Is there a thing there? Oh, we've already looted it. Down and around. Okay, quick save now that we've got a bit of health. And switching to the P90 for a bit here because we've got way too much ammo. And that was the right call. The shotgun at the range we're engaging those is just going to... Damn it, that was a waste of health. It's the equivalent of sneezing at them. We're not going to get far. I see things back there. I want the things that are back there. No. How do I get back there? Oh, it's... Exit. Yeah, okay, there's a monster closet there. My money's on a pinky. Winging fluorescent light adds just the right level of eeriness. I'm glad I left that barrel now. 
And pardon my sniffle. I'm waiting for that thing to drop down so that I can kill the inevitable pinky. And get to the stuff behind it. Quick saving. Reload. Oh, hurt him. I don't know, I've got mixed feelings about them just teleporting in like that. I kind of get why they do it, but at the same time... It leaves the monster so vulnerable that, yeah, so you, you have a sense of dread more than anything else in the here we go again sense as opposed to the holy shit what's coming at me now sense. Don't you. I'm gonna be brave and not quick save. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay. Well, that could have been worse. Like that, we just wasted an armor vest for the sake of four points. But this has a much better pace about it than Doom 3 or Resurrection. By miles. Do we have fists? We do. That's more like it. All of the safety, none of the ammo wastage. How large is our ammo capacity? And as if it's not going to let us hold the extra six bullets. I'm just throwing that out there. I prefer to not jump down yet. I would have thought there'd be somewhere else. Hmm. Um. Okay, well we'll go back up and we'll jump down. seemed like an area we had already been to. Quick save, just in case it is an area that we've already been to. Albeit there's a corpse there which suggests that I haven't cleansed it yet. Really? So apparently there's an invisible wall there. Yep, we can't eat. Seriously? We're just going splat on thin air. Is it a solid that we can... No, we can't punch it. Yep. Okay. So you can pretty well see that this is the point at which it had been acquired by Bethesda. Just saying. Well, that being the case, what are we looking for to progress? And we've covered this. We've shot everything that needed the application of bullets under the staircase. Just for good measure. Been there. So we haven't found any PDAs yet. I can hear things, that's something. Ok, 
Can we go anywhere else? No, we can go up and we can go down, but not side to side or back in time. Well then, can we... We can't even go fuck the safety railing. Really? Oh, come on. I have very, very mixed feelings about that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Can't go there, but I expect we'll come back through there at some stage. Ha! Ah, okay. I'm not sure that a lot of people would have thought of that, but... Well, we really don't need that gear. I'm gonna leave that for now. Uh, we don't need that health. Well, it was a, a brief moment of progression, I suppose. No ladders. Ah, huh. it's interesting. No head with which to finish the job there. Uh, okay, so we've got a substantial ammo capacity for this thing. 161 shells and counting. Oh, would that be 169? Wouldn't mind a super shotgun, just saying. Well, well we found that secret. Do we have a current objective set up? Just find access to the central control room. Well, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. This is lovely. Episode 1 and we're already stuck. Why can't... What is the point in this? Oh, genius. Broken window. Ugh. Anyway. I'm not taking any chances with these corpses. We have enough ammo that I need not give any fucks. I love the physics in this game. There we go. Oh, we've got more over here. And you. Doesn't seem to do any more or less damage hitting the head. Mixed feelings about that, but I suppose it's already dead. We're not gonna do any more, more or less damage, I suppose. Quick save before we jump down there, because we all know this is gonna suck. No, go away. We have Alan Rhodes PDA. Come in, please. This is station. I can't believe someone's alive there. You must help me. Time is critical. My name is Richard. Dr. Richard Myers. And I believe I'm the last one alive from my team. I was working with the engineers there before the connection was lost. I, I don't know what happened to them. But without your help, we may all die. I hope I can count on you. Here's the situation. We were conducting bi-dimensional tests before the attack, and I've lost control of the communication relays. And now we have a functional teleporter still active in the other dimension. And if it's not destroyed, those creatures may be able to use it to reach as far as Earth. 
You've got to help me. I've done everything I can here, but I don't have enough power to activate the teleporter on this side. The engineers were working with me to redirect auxiliary power from NPRO straight to Exus Labs. But now, looks like you're the only one that can help. I'll upload the array instructions to the SSD at your console. Oh god, the there. SSD drive. Take the SSD and find the main power oh, station in Sector boy. 2. Now just plug Leaving it into the main terminal and I'll contact you there. There's very little time. Please hurry. Yeah, I'll say it once and I'll leave it. SSD. The D stands for drive. You don't need to then say it again. Uh, so we can't do that there. So, I have to admit, I kind of wasn't paying that much attention to Dick, so I'm going to assume that he basically this said is the audio log that of shit's Chief fucked Alan and we've got to go and unfuck it. Well, we made significant progress. Fucking saw you coming that time. Correct. This should provide a considerable boost to the converter's output. I just wish my push it up. Actually, Petruger's project. Myers is just trying to follow orders and do his job. Anyhow, what we are doing is extremely complex and requires us to be firing on all cylinders. Expanding all of the transference data from Delta has been a very difficult process. What he's proposing requires the full use of a single grid array. I'm just glad we have some time to do it. My hope is within the next few weeks. We will be able to prime the main array in parallel and have the auxiliary working in sufficient capacity for the folks over in Nexus Labs. And uh, I think that's all I've got for now. Uh, Alan Rhodes signing off. Okay. Nothing coming up behind me there. Well, we've gotten to this door but I don't seem to know the way back to um, find the health so but we've hit the end of the level though so we will just backtrack a bit and find what health we can before we move on can we backtrack the game's actually not letting us backtrack to get health really that is the cheapest fucking thing. And right there, it... Uh, not a fan of the linearity, I will give it... Uh, I do need to say that. Definitely not a fan of the linearity. I prefer the semi-open style of the original games. Hell, even Doom 4 had a, a, an openness about it that this lacks. To an extent. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So, we'll see what awaits us on the other side. In Pro Sector 2. So, quick saving, and we'll call it there. Save, new save, up. Oh, okay, apparently we can't give them custom names. But, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, cheers.